Short Bear here with another Code Wars challenge. This one's a level eight. We're doing it in Python, and the name of it is Remove First and Last Character Part Two. So part one is uh, kind of nearby in the series. If you just uh, flip through the, uh, the the channel, you should be able to see it close by. Um, as always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes if you want to try it off, uh, try it out before uh, getting started here. All right. So what we're going to do is you're given a string containing a sequence of characters, sequences separated by commas. Uh, so you're going to write a function which returns a new string containing the same character sequence except for the first and last ones, uh, but this time they're separated by spaces. Okay, so it looks like what we're happening, what's happening here is uh, you cut out the first uh, and the last items in the list, uh, and then we want to basically join the other ones with spaces instead of commas. Uh, so let's try this out. Okay, so here's our string. We want to, from this one string with a bunch of commas in it, we need to split it up into a list of strings, okay? So what we'll do is we'll say numbers is going to be string, and there's a method called split, which literally does uh, what I just mentioned. So this will now return a list of numbers. Each number is a string, okay? So now we need to remove the first and last numbers uh, from this list, okay? So what you can do is set this equal to numbers, and then in Python, we can index into this. So what we can do is we can say, start at the second item in this list and go all the way up to, but not including the last. So negative one is uh, shorthand for last. So whatever the last thing in the list, uh, we're gonna go up to, but not including that, okay? So now we've removed the first and last numbers uh, from this list. So what we need to do now is join them all back together with spaces, okay? So the way you do that in Python is, whatever you want to join them together with, uh, make that a string, and then you call dot join, and then you pass in the list uh, back into that. So all we have to do is return this value, and that should be the solution to this challenge. Let's test it out. Oh, no, got an error. Okay, so what's the issue here? Okay, so, oh, I gotta do, oh, okay, so I screwed this up. You gotta do colon here, not comma. So colon, start at the second number, go up to, but not including the last one. So you can't do a comma there, you do a colon. All right, and it looks like there's some edge cases here. So if you have uh, an empty uh, uh, string or whatnot, uh, I guess if there's nothing left in the list, uh, then we should be returning none here, okay? Uh, so what I can do is, let's just do a if clause here. So if the length of the numbers is zero, then let's just return none. All right, so we test that out. And now it looks like we got them all passing. And so we can do a full submission here. Great job.